Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. It's Joy Bauer. Well, hi, Joy Bauer. I'm so glad we got you. How are you? I know. Well, thank you for having me. I wrote my audience to know I told you the renowned nutritionist, Joy Bauer. We're going to have some information for us. Joy, you are a nutrition expert, a registered dietitian. Food, to me, there's a revolution in food going on. What do we need to know that you know? <laughs> well, I have to say, like, I just, um, I feel so lucky that, people are interested and uh, I think there are more and more not only foodies out there but people who are really aspiring and interested in becoming healthier and healthier so I just feel like I have the goosebumps every single morning now. Um, today what I wanted to do is um, I, I feel really lucky and thrilled to have partnered with AbbVie to bring awareness to a condition that a lot of people don't know about. It's for short, it's called EPI, but that stands for exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. And um, with so many different GI issues that are out there and people having loud, lousy side symptoms, it's really important for people to know about this one because um, it is diagnosable, it is treatable, and it's something that you can speak with your physician about. And here's how it works. Your pancreas does a lot of important things. One of the important jobs of the pancreas is to produce enzymes that break down the foods that we eat. So let's say if you eat a sandwich or you eat a salad or an omelet, it's comprised of protein, carbohydrate, and fat. After you eat it, your pancreas does its job. It secretes and produces these enzymes that break down the protein, fat, and carb so that we can digest it and we can absorb all of the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, uh, the antioxidants, and the nutrition. But when people have EPI, again, it stands for exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, the pancreas is not producing enough of these enzymes so your digestion and your absorption is compromised okay so all right so the first step is knowing about it right so if you know about it um, and and the the side symptoms that people experience are a lot of the same with other GI issues, things like chronic diarrhea and bloating and gas and abdominal discomfort. But if you read up on this and you think that you have it, you make an appointment with your physician because there are treatments for it and you, you could really manage the symptoms. Well, that might, that's my next question. I hope you guys are listening to me because uh, this is really important <laughs> today. Joy, let me ask you, do you need to go to a gastroenterologist or does your regular physician, does he deal with this? Well, your, a gastroenterologist will, will certainly know more about this, but really an internist will know about it as well. And what I, what I would tell people to do is you go to the website. It's called identifyepi.com, and you could read up about it and see, in fact, if, if you think that you, know, you, you may have this particular condition, then make an appointment with your doctor and bring it up and talk about it. And there are a few things that you could do immediately from the food standpoint as well. First, I would say, um, instead of eating three large meals each day, you want to eat in a way that is gentler on your system. So that would mean eating smaller amounts more frequently. So five to six smaller meals, because again, it's not gonna be as taxing on your insides. 
The second thing is to make sure that you're hydrated because when you drink enough water, it helps to move things along, which is automatically going to make you feel more comfortable. And lastly, this has to do again with going to your doctor. You want to jot down exactly what you're eating and the times of the day and even the amounts and how you're feeling. Because a lot of times when we get to the doctor, you're all frazzled. You can't even remember, you know, when you were experiencing maybe bloating or diarrhea or gas and what you had eaten before. But if you start to journal it and then you go to the appointment with this journal, you'll be like, way ahead of the game. And then together with your doctor, you'll, you'll be able to evaluate whether or not you do have EPI. And um, I created this nutrition guide. It's completely free. It's at the website. So if you go to identifyepi.com backslash Joy Bauer, I have all of these strategies laid out nice and neatly for you. It's very, very user friendly. But most importantly, I also have delicious recipes that I strategically develop so that they're easy on the digestive tract. So you're just going to know that they're delicious. I have things like zucchini banana walnut muffins, and I have um, French toast with a surprising twist. I actually incorporate almonds into the mix. And then I have um, chicken lettuce wraps and salmon salad, and I have avocado fajitas that'll knock your socks off. The recipes are super simple to make. There are recipes that the whole family can enjoy with or without a digestive issue, but for when it, when it relates to EPI, I design them in a way so they have the right amounts of carbs, protein, and fat so that, again, they're gentler on your digestive tract. So, you know, the idea is you'll also have better absorption. And they also have a big bang for your buck. So they're smaller portions, but they have the vitamins, the minerals, the proteins, the things that you need. But again, well, they're delicious. <laughs> well, Joy, you have emerged as a voice of reason in this food uh, revolution. And I've heard you beating your messages for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. We, I'm trying. <laughs> you've got our attention. I told you we're in a revolution, and what you said is so easily applied to many other conditions once you're diagnosed or working with your doctor. We want to know where we're going to see you and see you on TV again because we love catching you. Oh, thank you. Well, let's see. On um I have, to, I have to do a little bit of traveling this week, but on Monday, I will be back on the Today Show for another Joy Fit Club, and it's a biggie. You're going to love oh. this one. Yeah, two people that will knock your socks off. Each of them have lost more than 100 pounds just through diet and exercise alone. Oh, I got it. We're there. We're yeah. really there. You talk there. about Make inspiration. That's like the ultimate shot of inspiration. Well, you're the ultimate inspiration, Joy uh -huh. Bauer. I want to thank you for the work that you've done for pounding these messages in our lifestyle day after day after day in different venues. Thank you very much, and thanks for that information. Let me ask you, before you leave, where do you want my audience to go on the web? Okay, I want you to go to identify e. Pi.com, And if you want my uh, nutrition guide, go to the same website, identifyepi.com backslash Joy Bauer. Joy Bauer, you are the best. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show and helping us to change our lives. Oh, thank you.